Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is the Road of the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. Whew, we're in for a big one here. I am one of the favorites, so... This is Pro Cycling Manager, playing Pro Cyclist mode, and it's episode number 32 in the series. We're on to stage 14 of the Giro d'Italia and this is coming to you at a different time than what you're used to because I'm going through a little bit of a change here for the channel and hopefully to you it's going to come down as a good change. Long have I been committed to mastering 10 games but I've been very consistent on my schedule of 10 episodes per week covering one for each of the ten games. So with that, you've only managed to get one new episode per week, at least when it comes to Pro Cycling Manager, one per the, each of the two series. And I know to some people, that hasn't been enough. So let me take care of that. I've changed it up a little bit. I'm still working on mastering ten games, but I'm going to have some of those games frequent a little less often now. They're not going to be out every week. They're going to go through a rotation and they'll have at least one or two episodes a month, but they won't come out every day. All right, so our goal remains the same here. Leader Outsider, look for the top five, look for a top five on the stage, but no support. Again, zero. Look at that. Zero support. I've got Madolo here. That's it. Oh my gosh. F U E F <laughs> Education first. You are not putting the team first at all. And desperately hurting the team's chances of success. As I've already dropped three places in the standings in large part, not entirely, but in large part due to a lack of team support on stages exactly like this one. And I'm going to be completely on my own on those final two climbs because I'm not getting any help. Luckily for me though, none of my teammates have gotten away so far and there are six groups up the road with at least well, you've got eight riders right here plus two more groups there's at least ten riders up the road and from the looks of it a lot more than that even Van Garter yeah TJ's in that group more try to get up here Dan Martin on the go now Tony Martin Thomas DeGand. There goes Restrepo. And a few more going with him. Uh, Viljo and Warbase have not attacked at all. Uh, Madolo is looking pretty decent today. He's the only one I've got control of right now, so I might as well get some support here. More riders taken off, and fortunately for me, none of them are my teammates, but there's Denifil. He could be looking to go. I don't know if these guys are all waiting for a chance. Maybe they see there's too many riders up the road already. The minimum is 10 riders. I'm thinking it's quite a bit more than that. And here goes another five riders trying to take off. Team Sky saying that's enough of that. And not letting any more groups get away. But it's also preventing the main breakaway from pulling any further out. By the way, I'm on a plus two race day condition today. And I'm looking much better for the stage coming up. And if my team stays with me, this could be a decent day for us. 
Plus two on the flat, plus one in the mountains, so that's an 84. Downhill, plus two. Fighter, plus two. Stamina, plus four. Resistance, plus four. Even the recoveries got a plus. This could be a decent day if my team stays with me. And at the moment, here they are. But there's Pink Jersey, Gagenhart. down. The teammates of those in the breakaway are not going to make an effort. It's up to the other teams to get their fingers out. Alright. <clears throat> well, anyway, back to the channel. So, I have five games of the ten, at least currently five games of the ten, uh, that are going to feature less often, like I said, uh, once or twice a month. And then that leaves the other five games. One of them is actually a new one. Uh, I just added Kenshi to the channel, and I'm back to not just the sports games. I'm bringing the strategy games back. I missed them. Uh, so, I play what I play. I don't expect that you're going to watch all ten games. Uh, kind of figured that much out by now. Uh, you'll watch what you want to watch. And so, I'll provide some variety. So, Kenshi has been added to the channel and actually uh, just launched yesterday. But the five games that are going to be a bit more active, well, they're going to fill in that gap a bit. Essentially, what I'm looking at in terms of space is I will have all five of those games will still have at least one episode per week at their regularly scheduled time. So the next episode after this one for Pro Cycling Manager uh, you're going to see it on Sunday just like you normally do. But keep an eye on Mondays and Tuesdays, where Mondays and Tuesdays will now contain bonus episodes. So if you're watching this one after it got posted and going, hey, what, what is this? What happened? It's only Tuesday. Well, that's because it's a bonus episode popping up. Now, if we do some simple math, uh, there's going to be at least three bonus episodes a week, at least potentially more. Uh, and there's five games that are going to be seeing those bonus episodes coming. So as a result, wow, that is a breakaway group of 32 riders, by the way, and they are about to hit 10 minutes. As a result, three episodes, five games. So looking at probably every other week, uh, or sometimes more often, getting a bonus episode to Pro Cycling Manager. Uh, and probably at this rate, with two Pro Cycling Manager series, uh, most of the time it'll rotate. So you'll get two of Pro Cyclist one week and one of the career mode. And then the next week you'll get two career mode episodes and one Pro Cyclist mode. Uh, but occasionally you'll get two of both. So more great content to come and still at least 10 episodes per week, uh, and sometimes more, but uh, time is of the essence. I only have so much of it. And by the way, I've still, I've, I've never earned a penny on, on YouTube at, the, at this point. Uh, this is all purely for uh, a hobby. Uh, I'm enjoying it, and as long as I'm enjoying it, I will keep doing it, and hopefully some of you in Enjoy it as well. Uh, by All right, well, the breakaway group has reached the first climb of the day, and it was a long, gradual climb. Uh, and that breakaway group is really, really pulling away on this one as they are already approaching 14 minutes ahead, and Sky showing no urgency. Uh, I have no idea, time wise where those riders are at, but you know, looking at it, I'm 11 minutes down, so you gotta figure everybody is outside of the top 10 obviously, but that doesn't mean that there aren't riders that are a little bit closer. Like we've got, what, 37 minutes down, 
Uh, Kreutziger is in 30th. He's 38 minutes down. No wonder they're allowed to get so far away. De Marquis. Van Garderen is 44th. So none of the riders that at least that I could pull up from the group. Uh, and settle in my no, it comes right back to my group here. So I'm not really able to see beyond the top 10 here, but uh, if they have 16 minutes and I'm 11 minutes, let's say they finish 10 minutes ahead, who's within 20 minutes? Well, only down to 16th. Garrett Thomas, Fulsang, Costa, Nibley, Kamajan, Lopez. I suppose I could see if these guys are here. Lopez is here, Kamajan's here, Nibley's here, Costa's here, Fulsang, Thomas, Sivakov, even Rosa. Where is Moskhan? Is he here? By yes, okay, Moskhan is here. Okay, so everybody, uh, Spielax, I think the highest ranked rider up the road. And the he point. is 22nd, 28 minutes down, so I've got 17 minutes on him. Uh, so I'm now less worried about that breakaway group. What it does mean, though, is the team objective of finishing in the top five not looking terribly likely but one beautiful piece of news here though is that because my team did not get into the breakaway group today uh, other than Viljoen at this point all of them are now working for me I like that I like that I've got some support today remember I've only got six riders left in my team uh, as we've lost two riders already uh, in including Uran, as we are now on to, what is this, part four of the Giro d'Italia. And it's going to be quiet, actually, here for a little bit, so I'm going to skip ahead a little. We're going to save some time so we can get through uh, a little deeper. Uh, I'm thinking it might take two more episodes to get through this one included, uh, to get through the rest of the Giro. Uh, so the double episode this week... We'll wrap it up, but I'm not sure. I'm only on stage 14, so I've got quite a ways to go, and if I'm going to get there, I need to make use of time. So I'll see you back in a moment. All right, we are about to start climbing, but we're not on to the two climbs yet. We've got uh, one short climb here, but it's a pretty steep one, and we're just now on to it. And then there's the profile to round out the stage. This is absolutely a day for the climbers. And with a little team support, uh, I've got a chance of going a bit deeper. Now, Canty, not such a good climber. Denifil, ward base is looking good today. And Madolo, yeah, Madolo is definitely the guy to shield me now. Uh, Denifil, next best, yeah, 74. Canty, no, no, Warbase. Uh, so Canty, I want you to actually protect Warbase uh, so that Warbase can maybe survive over the first climb. Uh, I'll probably have Madolo at the base and then Denifil uh, try to get me the rest of the way over the first climb. And then Canty get Warbase over and Warbase get me partway up the second climb would be ideal. Uh, and then on my own till the end. I know I won't have support all the way up, but uh, if I can have support at least through the first climb, and maybe partway into the second climb would be excellent. I am in the Young Riders jersey. You can see it's only slightly different than my team jersey as uh, the touch of pink on it. Well, i am already got a jersey with a touch of pink. Uh, Gruda Vagan has withdrawn. He was in a crash not so long ago here. And we are now up and over this climb. There is still a huge gap, almost 18 minutes, to the breakaway group. I do not think that they are going to be caught. However, many of them will be. Uh, 
Ooh, oh, whoa, 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 big crash, big crash, and only 30 riders left. That could really, really change things here. Uh, Garrett Thomas is in that. I've got Denifil and Madolo left. Uh, Denifil, I do not want you up there. Relax, relax. Are they calling this the base of the climb already? Okay. Uh, 15, 15 and a half kilometers, 9.3%. We are getting 2,000 meters just about on this climb. That's a big climb. That is a big climb for just 15 kilometers. Pretty steep gradient. Uh, we're coming up on sprint point, but of course that's already long since passed. Uh, Peloton has just 40 riders now. Uh, there's a minute to two riders chasing, and others, uh, Canty, Warbase, Phil Joan, all uh, a little over a minute behind in this uh, first group has now come together. 61 riders. They might still get back on onto the back, but we are already starting the climb. That's going to hurt them. That will definitely hurt them. Uh, Denifil, 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 do not get dropped, please. Thank you. Uh, Medolo, yes. I want Denifil to stay right here uh, next to us. And it's all back together. Uh, but it's back together right as we're about to climb. So those guys who had to chase, there will be damage. They will be hurt a bit. Uh, you can see Canty, Warbase, Phil Joan all down a little bit. Uh, Canty, go ahead and go back to shielding Warbase. Warbase, how far back are you? You're right there. All right, here we go. An ultimate climb. It's a big one. It is a big one. Uh, we are 16 minutes behind, just above the base. Big gap, almost three minutes between me and Frankini, but there's going to be big gaps at the finish line. Uh, we're going to be coming in in ones and twos for sure. Uh, I've still got Madolo and Denifil right here with me, right where I want them. More bases looking pretty good considering the chase they just had to give. Denifil's still looking good. Madolo's starting to hurt a little bit. Canty's starting to hurt a little bit. Phil Joan was hurting a little bit from uh, the return, but I don't have control of him anyway. Peloton already shrinking 80 riders. Let's speed it up for a little bit as things are just nice and steady. Nobody's attacking, and no reason for anyone to attack. A couple of teams have set themselves up as pacemakers for the pack. They obviously don't Skinny have road, group. so it's hard to fight your way through the field. That's kind of a good thing. Uh, so it's going to be people just kind of dropping off. Now, uh, I'm doing just fine. He's off a little bit here. Try 83. I mean, it almost feels like I'm setting the pace. And Phil's doing okay, but he is getting tired. Madolo is close to gone, and we are not halfway up. Eh, yeah, okay, I guess we are. Almost. Uh, 8.2 kilometers. So we're approaching halfway, and Madolo is nearly done. There goes Madolo. Denifil, your turn. Denifil, Denifil, thank you, thank you. Okay. And Madolo, you're done. Your work is done for the day. Good luck to you. 54 riders now as we've lost another almost 30. Breakaway group is crumbling. It's at least into 10 separate groups now. No idea what's at the front. Canty. He is done. Almost. <laughs> War base. Uh, he's a ways back there. He's at the edge. It's not good. Canty's done. Uh, I'm going to pause for a second and make an adjustment here. Uh, I want Warbase 
to try to stay in the group. So we'll set him to an 85. 85 should be strong enough. I'd actually like him to start making his way forward because all these riders going backward are... See? Uh, there's a gap. There is a gap right there. You can't afford the gap. Canty and Madolo are out the back. I'm still doing just fine. Uh, Denifil, he's hanging in there. He's going to get me over the top, it looks like. Uh, 39 riders left. Uh, still same top 10, no change. So none of us have been dropped in the top 10. So we are a quarter of the group. Actually, more than that now, as it's down to 33 riders. Uh, Warbase, ooh, he's catching back up. There you go, come on. See, this is a bad place to be. This is why, uh, ooh, and there goes Phil Joen, too. He's this in trouble. You guys are nearly with us to the top. If these two can stay with us, I've got a chance today. I mean, look how fresh I am. Uh, Denifil's hanging in there. We're two kilometers away from the top. Here comes the steepest section, though. I'm back off to a 78. Uh, the gap still 1640. So somebody in the breakaway group is hanging in there. There's at least 12 groups now off the front. Uh, let's get back to this. Restrepo is about to be caught. Tony Martin is uh, actually still a ways in front. Uh, it's only these three riders that are on the verge of getting caught. And I just lost Denifil. In fact, I just lost pretty much my whole group. Here's Sam Uman trying to go for it on his own. Uh, have at it, sir. I, I don't care. Go for it. I, you can ride off on your own at this point. Uh, that's going to burn a lot of energy. Uh, apparently he has no team with him already by this point. I want to stay with the main group. Let Sam Uman go. Even if it means he wins, he's ahead of me in the standings. Uh, I wouldn't mind fighting for second on the stage. Over the top, but... Uh, we're going to be up here for a little while before we start the descent here through uh, this gravel trail, it looks like, around the top of the mountain. Uh, Denifil's still here, maybe? No. Denifil's dropped. 19 riders left on the front, at least a few sky riders. Let's pause for a moment, see where we're at. Uh, Sam Uman is ahead of us, but only by 12 seconds. That's a bad place to be. I think he's really hurting himself being there. Uh, so we've got Mark Soler, who's in sixth. Gagan Hart's still here, the leader. Uh, Lopez, who's in tenth. Zacharin, who's in third. Uh, Sivakov, this is my competitor for the Young Riders jersey. He's only in 16th, but he is four minutes behind in the uh, Young Riders in second. Uh, Carapaz in 20th, Fulsung in 14th, Garrett Thomas is back with us in 15th after the crash earlier, Nibley in 12th, uh, Martin in 5th, and Roglic in 2nd are all still here. So uh, at least most of the top 10, if not all of the top 10, is still here. Uh, maybe if we go this way. Here's the back of their group. So Quintana. Uh, not Nairo, his brother. Uh, down at 33rd, Kalmajan, Martin, Roblich, Fosan, uh, Zacharin, Lopez, there's Gegenhardt. Uh, they're all kind of in the back, too. That's I like that a little bit. Frankini, 8th. Uh, there's Sivakov, Nibli. Uh, there I am in the middle of the group. And remember, I just took it nice and easy, and I'm already fresh, so... I'll have no problem being full strength at the bottom. Uh, Soler is sixth, and actually, why don't I can turn that up now? Uh, Soler, DeWolf. Wow, nice job, sir. Or were you? No, I don't think he was in the breakaway group, was he? Might have. I think we might have just caught DeWolf in the breakaway. There's Rui Costa, who I think was. No, Costa was not in 13th. Uh, Guerrero in fourth. I can't believe he's hanging on. He could get dropped on this last climb. Uh, just a 75. But he's probably in the form of his life right now. 
Full Fitness, Garrett Thomas in 15th, Rosa in 17th, Carapaz in 20th. We are missing some riders from the top 10. Uh, Sam Uman, of course, but that's 7th. See, there should be ri 8 riders ahead of me. We'll count them. Uman 1, 2, 3, that's me, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They're all there. And the closest competitors. So nobody's lost yet, but we are definitely down to the elite group. Just 19 riders left. Sky, the strongest team at the moment, with uh, two or three riders left. Three riders, because you got Thomas, uh, Kalmajan, and right. Is that Kalmajan and Rosa also? Kalmajan, I think, is another one of theirs. So they have four riders. Is that right? There's Gegenhart. Fifteen kilometers left. Oh no, okay, Kamajan's with uh uh what is that? H two R no 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 FTJ Yeah, group on my FTJ. Okay. Uh so Kamajan's not with Sky, but they still have three riders left, so uh Dagenhart looking untouchable due to A his strength and B his team's strength. I am on my own. They got me over the first climb. I was hoping for somebody to be close enough to help us over the second climb. Denifil is three minutes behind, so... Miljo uh, and Warbase both got lost just before the top as well. So all three of those guys got dropped, and there's already a huge gap to them. <clears throat> Ten kilometers to the finish line. Ahead, uh, we've nearly caught Wanwa. Uh, Degand is still seven minutes ahead, so we won't see any of them for a while. Uh, Valgren, there's Tony Martin now with a group of four. But a lot of that breakaway group is still there, but we'll bypass many of them on the next climb. But there we go, I'm already full strength. Uh, but still three minutes behind to Denifil, so I will not get support on the final climb. It's all me. But with a plus two, and virtually everybody except Gegenhart on their own, I could do well. I could do well. Uh, Uman is not ahead anymore. We've caught back up to him. There, he's right behind me. Bahrain Marita. Number 11 right there. I don't think Rosa will last too long. Carapaz, must, there must be another movie star writer in here somewhere. Yes, there is. Uh, Marc Soler. So that's good. That's why those three guys are up there working. They, those are all the teammates that are left. Uh, here's that one. Uh, okay, is that uh, Turkey? Oh, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I think that's a Turkish flag. Groups at 20 at the moment with he, his presence. And it's on. We are climbing. We have 10.5 kilometers. This is a 10.7. There goes Costa, taking off on his own 11% for this climb, so it's even steeper. Wow, 11%. I feel like I could take off, but at the same time, I, I don't want to. Not at least, not for the first guy or two. Stay in the, oh, there goes Sivakov. That's the one I should respond to, right? Full Sun trying to go to also. See, I don't want to be pulling the group right now to pull him back. Just a few seconds. Just a few seconds. I want to pull him back for now, and then... There we go. It's back into the group. Back into the group. Yes, yes, we have him. Okay. And then just ease off again. It still it did a little damage, but I didn't let him get away. So there you go. Is he trying again? Rosa back pulling the group. There's Umin. Moscon. Oh, jeez. They got Moscon also. Rosa, Moscon, Thomas. Here goes Sivakov again. 6.8 kilometers to go. I don't want to chase this time. Uh, I don't have enough energy to really do that. 
It makes me nervous him going away. There's Thomas DeGand. He's falling back quick. It's a steep climb. You can lose a ton of time here, and that's why I don't want to chase yet. I could lose a ton of time to see the cove. I could maybe go off and get a stage win. I'm... Oh, hello, Warbase has caught us. The riders are going through a very tough portion. And he's going out the back. Bill Joan has caught us. But there I'm not gonna get any help from them. Uh, okay, it's time. I got five K. I'm going to break off the front, break off the front, and then just go my pace. See if it opens up a gap. 26 seconds. 25 seconds. Oh, try to catch me. And I'm back in. Okay. Just wanted a slow, a slow acceleration to see what happened. Gagenhart is attacking. Roglic is attacking. Uman is attacking. Now it's time to go. Oh, I didn't. It didn't stay with him. Chicone has got the stage win. Clock's running. Okay. I'm now in a group of three given chase here. There's Costa. There's Sivakov. See, they went too early, and they are being caught. I was right. I was right. It was too early. Uh, I'm going to use my gel now. Two kilometers to go. Two kilometers to go. And Chicone was all alone for five minutes. Wellens. Hamilton. Van Garderen takes four. Spielak. Bernard, Raggio, uh, Narvaez, Berhani, Di Marquis, Gegenhart looking to go. I'm keeping pace with him. One kilometer to go. I've got just a little bit left here. Just a little left in the tank. And there's the end of it. There's the end of it. Okay, effort up. Uh, effort up. Get there. Get there. I, I'm in a great position on the day, even though I'm not getting fifth. But I'm going to gain time. I will gain time today. Oh, yes. There's the finish line. Here it comes. Whew. 19th on the stage. I am behind Gagenhart. I got second best. I got second best on the day. I got second best on the day. Never mind the first 17. Those are all breakaway riders. I got second best on the day. Gagenhart was the only one to finish ahead of me. The only one. Valgren was in the breakaway group. Oh, yeah. Stage results. Chikone gets a win five minutes ahead of the chase group, who stuck together through most of it. You can see only small time gaps uh, over all those chasers until you kind of get back here. There we are. Gagenhart comes in at 11.33, extending his lead as none of these guys were anywhere near the top standings. So Gegenhart is going to ex expand his lead. I come in at 12.15. Yes, I lose 45 seconds to Gegenhart, but I am absolutely not racing against him. I'm racing against the other top 10 riders. Valgren was also in the chase group, or in the uh, breakaway group. So here's Mark Soler on 12.30, so I got 15 seconds on him. Sam Uman came in at 12.37. Zacharin came in at 12.55, so I picked up 40 seconds there. Um, Roglic, 13.12, he was in second, so he lost almost two minutes to uh, Gagenhart. There's Martin, 13.34, so a couple minutes. Sivakov, two minutes down. Frankini is... 222 down from me. Guerrero also. There's Nibali. Lopez both losing uh, about three minutes to me. Let's see. Let's see. Have I moved up at all? I know I've gained a lot of time. Still in ninth. Still in ninth. It was too big of a gap. But Gegenhart over two minutes ahead now. Roglic still in second. Comfortably. Four minutes between him and Zacharin. Soler, 7.50 down. Uman is 8.13. Martin is 8.50. Guerrero is down to 9.30. Franchini still in eighth. I'm now just seconds behind him. 
And now I've got a big gap the other way, back to Lopez, Costa, Fulsang, Kalmajan, uh, Nibali. <sighs> big gains today, big gains. No position, but big gains. That was, that was a big one. Points, mountains, under 25s, 5.12 ahead of Sivakov now. 25 minutes to Narvaez. Sivakov, my only competitor for that jersey at this point. Team is 8th. Now, I should have a really good report, and I don't. Ninth provisional standings, no change, so it's still poor. Top 5 on the stage, 19th. Poor. I was 2nd on the stage. Sort of. Officially, it's still 19th. There's my one good thing, though, is I've got that Young Riders jersey well in hand. That was a big one, though. That was definitely a big one. Big progress. And we go on to stage 15, and it's another big one here. Oh, wow. See, Ciccone is actually among... No wonder he won the stage by five minutes. He's a climber. He's a 79. Shoot, if I were in the breakaway group, I would have won the stage easily. We're all 83s, and then it drops to... 81. See the cause in 81. He's an excellent climber. He's not so bad on time trial either. See the cause. This guy could be a pretty good competitor for years to come. Carapaz is an 81. And then you get down to 80 for Zacharin and Fulsung. 79 for Chikoni. Alright, well, nobody is around the top of the rankings anymore, so maybe, maybe, with myself comfortably in the top 10, and after a performance like I had in the last stage, maybe I'll get some team support today. But I, I got some yesterday because they didn't attack. Well, Phil Joe is still eighth in the mountain standings, but he's 70 points down. I'm coming in with at least a plus one on the race day condition today. What do we have? What do we have? Madolo set to teammate. So he's far enough out of the point standings now. But everybody else still there. They are still given free reign. Which ticks me off. Uh, again, right now, Madolo is the only control that I have on the team. Get up front where I like to be. There we go. We got a category two to open things up. That's gonna do a little damage, but it's early enough that uh, not a big deal. Category three, same thing. And then we've got an all's cat and a category two and another steeple into the finish. So those three climbs are gonna do some major damage in this one. And we'll pick things up at about the midway point here. All right, Peloton is already shrinking. 68 riders is all we have. Uh, some of that was lost due to a crash. It's raining. And my team is getting a big, big uh, middle finger from me at the moment. Uh, quite literally. Very literally. Uh, all four guys, not named Madolo, uh, not assigned to teammate. All four went off into the breakaway group. They are not working for each other. And they're certainly not working for me. All four of them just starved. They all went without water uh, the whole time until they are absolutely forced to and dropped from the main group. So they all just ran out of energy because they refused to get water for 35-40k. Uh, it was absurd. Also absurd is the fact that there was... 46 riders in the breakaway group 
46 riders in the breakaway group. What the heck? Uh, this is insane. We're 11 and a half minutes down. Uh, pace is starting to pick up. Modolo is already gone. And I didn't even get to the intermediate climb here. I expected him to be through about here. Uh, through where it steepens on the all category climb, basically where the climb really begins. And I just lost him before this climb. Uh, it, with any luck, Canty, who is recovering right now, uh, we will catch Canty sooner rather than later. Uh, and he's not going to attack hard and back off, and maybe I'll get a little support from Canty when we catch up to him. Uh, we're still five minutes behind him, though. Uh, Denefil, Warbase, Viljoen have made it back up to the main group on the descent. I uh, have 33 riders now in uh, our main group in the peloton. Everybody else is spread out, spread out. Canty is the next group on the road, just three riders. Uh, chances are they will lose time. Uh, they're hovering at about 6.20. We are, uh, last I checked, we are gaining time. We were 11 and a half, so I don't know if we just picked up those 40 seconds or not. Yes, yeah, now it's a minute 10. So we are picking up time, so we are catching up to uh, Canty. So with any luck, uh, I will at least get a little bit of support from him. Uh, but we've already leveled off. Uh, we are already above the valley floor. So you can see it's... Uh, below us and probably a river down there, but I haven't seen anything that suggests there's a river. There's Canty. Just three minutes behind him now, so we've already gained two minutes on him just a little bit. Uh, to speed things up, there's not much is going on for right now. Uh, I will put Canty to work immediately once he gets up here. In fact, I'm going to send him to get water. No, it's going to be too long. I'm going to get water now, myself. Small distance to the back of the group, but it's not steep right now. There we go. I've got water. I'll get right back up there. Canty doesn't have water. Hasn't had water. I don't know why he won't get water. You're in a group of three. Put your hand up and somebody on a motorcycle will hand you a water. You don't even need the team car around. This is the last third of the race. The team leaders have their minds fixed on today's goal. Okay, just a minute back now to Canty. Can't he come back and support me? Uh, Warbase is just about done up there, but Denifil is protecting uh, Viljoen, trying to go for some big points today and move back up the uh, Mountain Climbers jersey standings, but I think he is too far down at this point to uh, get much higher than 4th or 5th place. Uh, we are back up to 49 riders at this point, but those who have caught up had to work hard, and it's uh, it's about to get serious. But it's weird. This is an alls category climb, and where is the steepness? It's 15.9 kilometers, 6.4%. This is nothing compared to what we did. Is it because we're covering 2,000 meters? Apparently they did call count those flatter sections as part of the climb. Kind of figured the climb would start right here. I normally call it, but not today. Uh, Canty, what happened? Uh, I still don't get control of Canty. Seriously? And by the time he falls into our group, he's toast and didn't shield me at all. <laughs> so, yay! Yay, team! Speed it up. Nothing going on for a while. 13 minutes down, so we are definitely not winning the stage again. This is not like the last stage. And, if you haven't noticed, I'm on a minus one race day condition. And it's hurting in the one place where it's going to hurt the most. Stamina and resistance. I just do not do well without two things. Without those, without team support. Hello, snow. We're hitting high elevation. 
and the snow's coming. Okay, meanwhile, I'm looking just fine. I'm fresh. There's Wellens, uh, Arslanov, there's Van Garderen, who took fourth yesterday. I'll catch up to these guys pretty quick. And our pace is not intense right now. And this climb is not bad, it's just long. No chance for a recovery, unless you're a pure climber like me, who can re actually recover while climbing, if the pace isn't that bad. There's Hamilton, about to be caught. I think he might have taken, what, third yesterday? So a lot of the top finishers from a day ago are now done. Uh, movie star Sky still looking very strong. A lot of riders around. Barry and Marita have an extra rider still. Been on my own for quite a while now since Madolo dropped back. He's uh, five minutes behind. Let's speed it back up here. More riders being caught. 46. I have shrunk, we're about to hit the top of the climb, and I'm still fresh at the top. Huge gap though, as we hit the top of the climb, and the leaders are at the base. War base just fell, we're going to pass him in a moment. There he is! Oh, he collected me! Are you kidding me? Um... There's one reason to not go on times two, because I might have been able to avoid that. Because you do have four and six key to move left and right. Uh, it caught up a lot of us, but it didn't catch up all of us. Uh, War base is back ahead again. Restrepo. Uh, there we go. Here's who got away. Five riders. Uh, Where'd they go? Quintana, Moscon, Valls, Belda, Krasniki. Luckily, none of those are in contention. Now, Moscon could be, but he's not. So, uh, very fortunate that none of the leaders, zero leaders, none of the top ten, uh, got away. Another crash! This time I avoid it! Sam Uman was in the crash. Solaire is here. Thomas is here. I do not see. I do not see. We lost 14 riders. I do not see. Gegenhart is behind. Zacharin. Martin. So, three of the top five. There's Thomas. Now, there's an important crash here on the descent. It's the weather, it's slippery out there. And it is taking casualties. Uh, Warbase has reached us. Or we have caught Warbase anyway. And he's actually working for me. Trying to anyway. He is not recovering at the moment. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is set him to, to try to recover. They must remember to keep their shape. Get water bottles. There's something you could do. 17 riders is all we have here and he is not recovering so uh, even at 90 he is not recovering he's gonna go right out the back uh, I need water but I'm not gonna grab it right now 16 riders I'm too close to the front and I don't want to have to fight my way back up at the moment. I need it, but I'm gonna wait for this group to shrink a little. Uh, because, oh, they just reached us, they just reached us, they made contact. Uh, that took an extra effort though. 22 riders. I'm gonna wait for things to shrink a little bit in the group. There's Degent. Here we go, group of four. Ah, no, 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 you hold position. Don't you dare.
group of 20. And I'm halfway down. Oh, I was just about to push the button again. It just got steeper. It's all about timing on this, getting the water bottle without losing position. It is steeper here, too. Let's speed it up a little here. Not much going on. No one's going to attack just yet. Another breakaway rider. A lot of breakaway riders being caught. Eight percent on this climb, but definitely steeper. The second half, which is where we're headed now, thirteen k is the length for four and a half k to go. Slow it down here, as there could be an attack. Castro Viejo sky is looking strong, as always. We just cut that group of four and going right past him. Carapaz looking. Nope, it's just moving up front. There's Phil Joan, but he's not going to help me. He's not even faking. Oh, but I got water. I got water as he went by. Thank you, Phil Joan. You did help me. Uh, Fulsang. Fulsang just dropped out. Uh, he was in, what, 12th place? 13th, maybe? Narvaez still up the road. <laughs> A lot of groups. That's group 10. Group 11. Almost to the top here. I'm looking a little vulnerable, but we're going to hit the top of this climb soon and I'll recover some before the final climb. Just 13 riders left. Another. Sarmiento is higher up the standings as well, I think. Giacopo, a lot of withdrawals. Probably the gap. The field is spread out big time. Yeah, Canty is 50 minutes behind. He might not make it to the time cut. I mean, the time cut's usually about an hour and 15 minutes or so. Prades is caught. Denefield's still up the road. Oh, Prades, get out of my way, dude. Okay, there's the top of the climb. Just 11 riders left here. Uh, Gegenhardt, Soler, Roglic, Zacharin, Sivakov, Guerrero, Frankini, Lopez, Nibli. It's the who's who in the standings. Kalmajan. We'll go over the top here in a moment and recover a bit. I'm already into recovery mode. And we are just now starting to descend. Put that to 90. Uh, heart rate's not a problem, so I will recover even at 90 without lowering it. But that way nobody can get away from me here on the descent. Zedafil's still up the road, but five minutes, six minutes, and almost toast. He'll be climbing here in a little bit. Uh, the leaders are about to do the final climb and it is 6k long 6.1 percent. that's a big ascent for just six kilometers we still have a ways to go to get there so we are not winning the stage today whoever's left in the breakaway will be the winner today the riders are entering the last five kilometers of the stage Gary Thomas, Castro Viejo behind. Martin is a couple minutes back. Mascan. So Martin is already dropped. I expect, because it's only a six kilometer climb, that the pace is going to be pretty hot. Just 13 riders. There's most of them. Five k to go till we start the climb. There's the ten k banner. I am fully fresh, at least as I can be. <laughs> Look at the rest of my team, but there's a massive difference between myself and the rest. Nine k. 
We're 16 and a half minutes down. We're just cruising right now. We are. We're just cruising. I'm still at just a 136. Here's the climb. Here's the climb. It is on. Think about using that gel soon. Ah, here comes an attack. Soler, Zacharin, Roglic, Lopez are all going. There's Gegenhart. Right now, they... Look how hard they're all riding. Look how easy I'm riding. There's Franchini going. Lopez, oh, he's already checking up a little bit, holding me up. Guerrero's holding me up. 4K to go. Now I will use my energy gel. Ten riders have gotten away, though. Ten riders have gotten away. Nobody even reached the finish line in all this time. We've gained a ton of time. It's Chikori again! There's Denifil. I'm just going to fly right past him. Uh, he's going to shield me for a second, though. Alright, let's go 99. Come on, push. 2K. Mind the gaps. Mind the gaps. Don't get caught behind these guys. I've moved my way up. Chikoni was totally on his own there, it looks like. I'm just flying right past these guys. Stronger climber. Struggling through that part, though. Atkinson takes second. He's from the breakaway group. Narvaez moves up. He was third in the Young Riders. He was in the breakaway group. Reggio also breakaway group. Gegenhart takes fifth. Solaire sixth. Roglic is seventh. What happens when you're on your own? I'm still... Whoa! Hello, hello! Frankini, Zacharin, Kalmajan, Nibali, and myself. I sh might be on the same time with those two. Genies, Guerrero, Let's see the results. Results time, and this stage was epic in its destruction. Look at all these riders that are out of time, Canty included. And withdrawals. Full song. Sam Uman, Rui Costa. Oh, wow. I didn't know that they were eliminated as well. There's only 105 riders left. 105 riders left. TJ Van Garderen was in the breakaway group and blew up. Uh, Arslanov, Wellens, <laughs> forget it. They were all in the breakaway group and finished for over an hour behind. That's how bad those final climbs were uh, if you were blown up. Uh, we're base all the way down to 93rd. Let's look at the top, though. So, uh, these guys are all in the breakaway group. However, Narvaez is the third place guy in the under 25s competition. So he picked up about four minutes on me, but he was quite a ways back. Uh, Gegenhart, best of the leaders. Soler, 20 seconds down. Roglic, 10 seconds behind. Frankini, a minute behind that. Zacharin, another 20 down. Another half a minute to Kalmajan, uh, Nibali, and I actually all got different times, even though we were wheel to wheel. I got eight seconds slower than Nibali. That's how apparently uh, different the time was for less than a bike length behind Nibali. Uh, nobody given the same time until you get to Genias and Guerrero. Uh, I do gain time on them. Sivakov, a uh, minute and a half down. So this is going to change things. Riders out. Big time gaps. Time lost. Time gained. Up to 7th. So Gegenhart, almost 3 minutes ahead of Roglic now. 8, eight to Soler. Zacharin and Soler, just 7 seconds apart. Guerrero, Franchini, and then I am a little over a minute behind. Ciccone. 
out of nowhere. Ciccone was like a 30 minutes down, 40 minutes down, but he's won two straight stages. He is a climber, but he's been in the breakaway group and was the best climber in the breakaway group and easily won both days by about five minutes. So he picked up 10 minutes there, but that was to second place. He picked up more time than that, especially on Gegenhardt, who yesterday was about nine or 10 minutes back. Today was, what, six minutes, seven minutes back? So uh, Ciccone back in it and less than a minute behind me, but he's not going to be in any more breakaway groups as he's going to have to erase it out now that he's in the top 10. Uh, Kalmajan is there, 18. Uh, and then Martin drops a ton of time. He drops to 19 minutes back. He was in fifth place. Uh, so he blew up today and lost probably uh, 10 minutes. Maybe more. Nibali on the same time, amazingly. Uh, Lopez drops. He lost a bunch of time. There's Sivakov now in 13th. Uh, and he's over six minutes behind me. What a race. What a race. Ciccone leads the mountain climbers, but he is now in contention for the race itself. He's not going to be picking up points there anymore. Uh, under 25s. Wow, look at that. Over an hour to 6th. Atkinson, breakaway rider, up to 25. Narvaez, now 21. Sivakov, 640 down. Team, still in ninth. <laughs> still just two points picked up. Uh, just two, two spots out of fifth now, though. So I might still be in for fifth place. That's amazing. Now, before we continue on... What is the next stage? Because I'm way past time. But I want to get one more in. I, I just, I want to. Uh, that was 15. Okay, the next one, it's a short. All right. Uh, I'm going to cut forward till it's my turn to go in the time trial. I'll see you there. Back in action. Here is Chaconi taking off. It is just about my turn. Uh, fastest time right now is Lucas Hamilton. TJ Van Garder in the second fastest. Dean Marquis is third fastest. Time to beat is 31 34. And I am out there. And we need to slow down a little bit. Slow it down. We are flat initially, and then it gets steep from there. It's not super steep, but it's definitely uphill. And that's more than I needed to bank. <laughs> that was downhill, though, so. All right, now we start to climb. This is pretty gradual, and yet it's uh, fairly steep. Five and a half percent already just through this section. So yeah, this is a definite climb. Uh, plus three on the day, plus sixes. Uh, ah, prologue looks great. Time trial just plus two. Mountain, hills, all pluses. I'm going to be down on time here. But good, not but really sixth, just eight off seconds off the pace. So actually, that was really good. This climb is feared by many I'm gonna hang out at a 77 for a little bit, see how that does. We're at 11, 10 percent right now, and actually, I'm doing pretty okay. I'm gonna try an 80. Nah, it's going too fast. 79. Maybe a 78 is the way to go for now. It's always hard to judge, but this is the steepest. There's a new reference time coming in. Carapaz goes top, 31.22 now. It's definitely time to be gained today. My time is now 10th fastest. At the checkpoint, Gegenhart is on top. Soler, Roglic, there's Thomas, Zacharin, Lopez. So the leader is very much on front. There's Ciccone dropping back. 
don't think he's the one I was chasing, was he? He's 12th. Or no, 8th in the standings. Okay, Ciccone is the one who was ahead of me, but I'm definitely gaining on him, clearly. Uh, at a 77, I'm almost... Uh, I need to back off a little bit. 76. Still have 1.8k to go. Not in the negative, that's good, but I also can't afford to get to the negative. Comes the 1k banner. 76 might just about get me there. It's a little steep there before the end. There we go, past Chaconi. Now, 99, 99, push, push, push. Into the lead, 30, 33, for now. <coughs> for now. Here's Franchini coming next. He was 19 seconds down. At the check. He's a 70 time trialist. 77 climber. He loses almost two minutes. Here's Guerrero, 75 climber, 72 time trialist. He loses almost two minutes. Zacharin, he's fourth, a minute down. Here's Solaire, 29 seconds down. He goes into second place behind me. Roglic, he's way down. He started before Solaire. Minute 25, and I didn't see Gegenhart. Six seconds down. I just won the stage. I just won the stage. Yes. All right. What a way to end the episode, huh? 30 minutes, 33 seconds, seven second gap to Gegenhart, 30 seconds to Solaire. Carapaz is 49 seconds down. Everybody else more than a minute with Hamilton in fifth. Zacharin, Sivakov, and I move up to fifth. I move up to fifth. Ahead of Guerrero and Franchini. Fifth overall now. I've made it into the top five. Team's going to be very happy after that stage with the win, with moving into the top five. Awesome. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. And remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe and tune in next time, which will be at our regular time this coming Sunday. Bye for now.